Let's read the directions for number one. Express as decimal numerals. Now, here's what they want you to do. They want you to raise your hand and say, uh, Mrs. Lewis, I don't know what a numeral is. Oh, I, know that. I know, that's what they want you to do, but what you're going to say is, oh, that looks kind of like number. So I'm going to assume that's, that means number, okay? So don't let the words keep you from trying to figure it out. Express as decimal numerals, the first one is done for you. So does, is this standard form, boys and girls? Yeah. yeah. And we're converting from word form and from fractions and mixed numbers to standard form. Sometimes we call it decimal form, okay? So read this one. 24 thousandths. 24 thousandths. What's the last digit I write? Four. And what place value is it in? Okay, on your place value chart, put a four in the thousands place. Then make it 24. What do I need to fill in with? Zero. You agree? 24 thousands? Okay, that's what we're doing. The next one. Ooh, I think I'm going to highlight a word. And? And. One and 324 thousandths. So what's my place value at the end? Thousands. And what's the last number I write? Four. Four. Okay. So on the place value chart, put a four in the thousandths place. Read that to me again. Okay, Seuss, read that to me again. One and three hundred twenty-four thousand. Okay, so three hundred twenty-four. Everything in front of the decimal is a whole number. So the one is the whole number. One and three hundred twenty-four thousandths. Okay, next one. Do you see the word and? No. So there's no whole number. So what's the last digit I write? Eight. Eight. What place value is it in? Okay. Uh oh. It was an eight, wasn't it? Yeah. So the number was six hundred eight thousandths. Yeah. Okay, you got it? Are you writing them on the place value chart? It's going to it's going to make it a lot simpler. So 608 thousandths. See the word and? Yes. Lexi. Um the one before B or D um it's 600 not 600 or 60. Okay, they're trying to make you they're trying to mess you up. I'm glad you asked that, okay? Because that's happening a lot. So my question was, do you see the word and? Yes. In D? Oh, no. No. So there is no whole number. Okay? That's messing kids up because they see the word hundred. They automatically want to put it in the hundreds place, don't they? Okay? So the first thing I want you to look for is the word and. And that's going to tell us if we have any whole numbers. The next one does have the word and, doesn't it? Yes. So it's going to look like this, boys and girls. We're going to have a whole number, a decimal, and then decimal place value. Okay? So 600 and 8 thousandths. Is my place value thousandths pretty important? Yes. Okay. So on the place value chart, 600 and. What comes in front of the decimal? The whole number. The whole number. What is the whole number? Everything in front of the word and. 600. How do you write 600? Okay, and then Jair's getting ahead of me, but after the word and, what's the number? Eight. Eight what? Eight thousand. So he's right. We have a lot of zeros. Okay. Does that make sense, Lexi? How those two are different? It's all about the word and. 
And what, what the people that write these questions are assuming is that you're just going to read over the word and and not realize it's there. Or think it's there when it's not. This one's fun. How do you say F? 46,000. How do you write 46,000? Well, let's talk about it. What's the last digit I write? Six. Six. What place value? Thousand. Now what do I do? Zero, 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 Fill in with my zeros. I'm sorry you can't see very well. You can always look at the computer, remember, okay? All right, so 46,000. Looks like that. Okay, the next one. That's a mixed number. What did Lexi say a mixed number was yesterday? A whole, a whole number mixed with uh, a fraction. Okay. So what's your whole number, George? Three. Three. So where does it go on the place value chart? On the ones. On the left side, are you George? No. On the left side of the decimal. But he's right in the ones place. Your whole numbers are going to be on the left side of the decimal. Now, what's the rest of it? Three and, read it on your paper. Three and Say it again for me. Six thousand. Okay, so six thousandths. Three and 946 thousandths. Okay, the next one. What's your whole number? 200. So that goes where? In the hundreds place. Okay. How do you know it goes in the hundreds and not hundredths? Because, because it doesn't have the, the H. It doesn't have the and. Oh, no, it's a whole number. How do you know it's a whole number? Because it's a, it's a mixed number. It doesn't have a number under it, does it? Uh -uh. No. And it's a little larger. And it's in front of the fraction. So all those things, was it 200? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. And then what's your fraction? Nine hundred four thousands. Nine hundred four thousands. Okay. Does that seem pretty simple to you? Yeah. Now, as you go through something like this, let's say on Zern, was it nine hundred four? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like on Zern, you go through something like this, and it, you're getting confused. Go over and get a place value chart out of the blue cart, okay? And use an Expo marker and do what we just did. And then it will seem simple again. And don't forget about this, whole numbers, decimal, and then fractions, okay? Number two is word form. Now, all you have to do is be able to read the number. Remember yesterday I told you, I've been having you say those numbers because that's word form. So turn to your neighbor and tell them how to say this number. Okay, so if you said zero and five thousandths, you're incorrect because we don't say zero dollars and five cents. We just say five cents. So try it again. Five thousand. Okay, that's what I write. Think you can handle that? Yeah. That's all I write. Five thousands. Okay, so you got that written with your pencil? Yep. Okay. I'm going to put the next one on the place value chart. Okay. It says 11 and 37 thousands. 37 thousands. Now the nice thing about using the place value chart, I know that this is 11 and, because of my decimal, and then I know this is 37 thousandths because I can read the place value chart. Yeah. So what? turn to your neighbor and say that number. 11 and Okay, can you write that? 11 and 37 thousandths. Have you noticed what I'm capitalizing? No, it's the, the, first the first letter of the first word, and that's it. Okay, you need to focus. 
Now somebody said, I don't know how to spell 30. I can't remember how to spell 30. Well, you're going to have to use your sounds. What makes the er sound? E-R, uh, I-R, I -R, U R. So pick one of those. Okay, raise your hand if you're not ready to go on. Hurry up. I like your screen. You like my shade? Look at this. Oh, it's so raise it up. That's satisfying. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. Turn to your neighbor and say the next number. Don't forget the word and. Okay, stop for a minute. I'm going to say the number and I want you to tell me what mistakes I made, okay? Or if I made any. 403 and 608,000. You interrupted me. Let me say it again. 403 and 608 thousandths. Oh! Chloe, what mistake did I make? You said 600. Uh, you said 600 instead of. Uh, I said 403 and 608 yeah. thousandths. Emiliano? You said I asked two times. I actually said it three times. Wait, what? How many times do I say the word and One. in this one? Okay, so let me say it correctly. 403 and 608 thousandths. Okay, that's what you write. Capitalize the first letter of the first word. 403. Now on this one, somebody put four hundreds. Would I count that right or wrong? wrong? Wrong, because that's unit form, and we're not doing unit form. 403 and, what did I say the rest of it was? 608 thousandths. Most of the time on a, on a hard one like this, whoops, kids will put, um, they'll switch over to unit form because they can't figure it out. Just remember that what you say when you say the number is what you write when you're doing word form. Okay, so the next part is expanded form. We're going to do it both ways with fractions and decimals. The first one is done for you. Um, it says to put it on a place value chart. Now, if you'll look at the next page, there is no place value chart. So we will use our iPads for that, okay? So take a look at the first problem. So the first thing I do is copy it onto the place value chart. What's the number, Beverly? Okay. So how do I say this? Um, okay, good. <coughs> so when we first did expanded form, we did a little bit of dots, didn't we? Now we might be past the dots by now, but if you want the dots on there, go ahead. Okay? And then here's what we said. Two copies of one tenth. Four copies of 100. Nine copies of 1,000. And then, what did we do after that? We did the decimals. We did. We switched the fractions to decimals. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. You go ahead and get started. And then I'm going to show you a mistake I saw earlier in the day. So you don't accidentally make the same mistake. 
Okay, so go ahead and write equals, then two copies of, and just copy it off of your place value chart. You can check it with mine when you're finished, but don't look up until you're finished. Okay, so look up here. Make sure you've got the fractions done correctly. Now I'm going to put your pencils down. I want to show you a mistake I saw. And it's not, I mean, it's a mistake, but it's not a really bad one. It's just not what we want. And I saw it more than once. Here's what they remembered from yesterday. They remembered that you're going to switch the fractions to decimals. But what did they forget to do? The, the plus. No. All, the other, all the other numbers and special characters that we have. Okay? So when you switch the numbers to decimals, look up here. This is a reminder. You're going to make sure and write the decimal right underneath the fraction. And if you don't know how to write the decimal, you can copy it off your place value chart. Then, all you have to do is bring everything else down. So bring the parentheses down, the two down, multiplication sign, and copy the rest. Okay? Go ahead. Now, thanks for not copying off of mine. Mine's here to look at when you finish. Are we lagging again? Okay, so on this one, we're going to put it on the place value chart. 57 and 281 thousandths. So what goes before the decimal? 57. 57. And then 281 thousandths. Good. Okay. And if I have the dots, I would do five copies of what number? Ten. Look at the place value chart. Ten. Five copies of ten. And seven copies of one. One. And then I'm going to start with fractions, aren't I? Mm -hmm. So two copies of one ten. Am I teaching you a strategy here? Yes. yes. This is for when it gets too hard. And one copy of 1,000. Now all you have to do is copy from your place value chart. Don't forget your parentheses, multiplication signs, and plus signs. Okay, so look up here. If you have this much done, you're ready to switch it to decimals. What do I switch to decimals, Junior? Um. What do I? What numbers do I switch and make them decimals? The one. How's the, the, the fractions. Just the fractions. Okay. So, underneath the fractions, you will write the decimals like we've been doing. Is 10 a fraction? No. 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 Is 1 a fraction? No, no. No. Those are what? What are those called? Yeah. Whole, whole, numbers. Numbers. whole numbers. Okay. So, go ahead and finish this out. 
And then you can check it with mine. So you got it both ways? Fractions and decimals? Do you have to rewrite 5 times 10 and 7 times 1? Yes. You do? You have to rewrite it. <coughs> Good. I like the handwriting I see in this group of kids. Hermine has very nice handwriting. I can read it. No, can't read yours. <laughs> what about mine? I can't read it. I'm teasing. I can read anything. I taught first grade for 10 years. That, that's I can even read words that aren't spelled correctly. That's why I say to my dad whenever he's doing it's like, who do you like more, me or grandma? And so like, grandma's like, hey, and then he's like, ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So on the... It's fun. Look at this. So I'm going to take, I'm going to get a camera, I've got one, camera, and I'm going to take a snapshot right here and I'm going to hit, hit, send it to the current page. Put it right here, didn't it? Whoops. Put it right here. Copy it. Paste it. Make it bigger so we can see it. How's that? Crazy. Craziness. It's a little blurry, but it's going to work for us, isn't it? Okay. Huh? I, I'm, I just showed you. Take a picture of it. Then what? Copy it. Paste it. Oh. Did you try it without your place value chart? No? Okay. Now they skipped some place values again, didn't they? Mm -hmm. When a number starts out in the thousandths place and it only has this many sets of parentheses, it looks like they skipped something. Because mm -hmm. look how long it was when it started in the tens and it had everything. Okay. So you know what to do? Did you do it? Are you finished? 